We'll all be set now for the first race on the program here at Seymour over the journey of 1100 metres. Race one this afternoon, starting the shoot. Set. Starter climbs the platform, the light on, they're ready, they're racing this time, they came out as one but dropping to the rear shortly after the start with Starsheen. Robigo showing good pace, it'll lead settling down. Vibrant Comedy up second, followed by Red Thread on the rails. Then a length and a half away came Harleston over on the outside and last of all is Starsheen. They make their way down to the 800 metre mark, Robigo takes over a length and a half in front of getting through to second now, Red Thread along the rails. Whipping around them, Starsheen followed by Vibrant Vibrant Comedy and two lengths away last of all is Harleston. 600 metres to go prior to turning for home now. Rubigo is the leader. Moving up stylishly. Starsheen on the outside to join it. They've sprinted three lengths clear then on Vibrant Comedy. Harleston wide and Red Thread is now back at the rear. They swing the home turn and Starsheen over on the outside might be just in front of Rubigo fighting back and they're clear then on Red Thread followed by Vibrant Comedy in the straight. Rubigo the inside has fought back well. Might be just in in front of Starsheen coming again on the outside and Harleston winding up down the outside. Rubigo's pulling out plenty from Starsheen and Harleston near the line. Rubigo going strongly and Rubigo scores the first. Rubigo by two and a half lengths. Second placing give it to Starsheen just in front of Harleston. In behind them Vibrant Comedy and last in was Red Thread. Wait the numbers on race number uh, one. So now Storm Nimbus moves up and completes the line. Now they're set for a start, race number two here at Seymour. Ready to go and racing this time, Northern Prairie threw its head in the air and missed it about two lengths. Settling down into stride, True Print as the early leader. By a length and a half over Storm Nimbus who settles second. And now a length away last of all is Northern Prairie. Over towards the 1400 metre mark they stride in race number two. And True Print is the leader. Out by two lengths in front, Storm Nimbus settling second along the rails. And last of all is Northern Prairie. Along the back of the track they go now at the 1200 metre mark. And the leader is True Print. Get bowling along nicely in front. Opens up a break now of three lengths in second placing Storm Nimbus and in third and last placing is Northern Prairie as they move along past the 800 metre mark now and the leader True Print for rider Debbie Weymouth. Out about four or five in front now. Northern Prairie's moved to a clear second and a length and a half away last of all is Storm Nimbus. Down the side 600 metres out and still True Print defies them by four lengths. Northern Prairie under the whip is second and third and last of all is Storm Nimbus. As they come down the side of the track 600 metres to go still True Print out nicely in front five or six lengths in front of Northern Prairie second and Storm Nimbus moving up on its outside side but they're about to round the home turn in race number two and the leader True Print it'll straighten up six or eight in front of Northern Prairie and Storm Nimbus but into the straight and True Print for rider Debbie Weymouth is well clear and still going strongly in front True Print it's well clear of in second placing Northern Prairie with Storm Nimbus that pair fighting out the minor end of the prize but True Print out full of running it's now 15 to 20 lengths in front and going further ahead and True Print for Debbie Weymouth down to the line of very easy victor. Give it to it by 15 lengths over the minor end of the prize. A great go. Storm Nimbus got it. A neck in front of Northern Prairie. Arctic Spark Irish centrefold still out the back along with Big Nota. Rare Games moved up towards the outside. And uh, most of them in now with Big Nota taking its spot towards the outside of the field. And they look to be just about set for the third. The Melbourne bit of Class D handicap. 1,200 the journey. Light on. Set to go. Ready for the third. Field settles. Racing this time. Fairly even dispatch. Obdu might have been a bit slow to begin down near the inside. And winning the start out wide is Irish Centrefold along with showing a pace in the early stages. Big note. Out wider on the track. Star Behold settling down into stride. Just in behind them. Rare game over on the outside. Uh, followed by back midfield there was important. Uh, over on the outside. Man on parade. Followed by Obdu. And dropping out to last of all is Oregon as they start to sort themselves out. Driving through Star Behold now to lead. Irish Centrefold's 
out wide. Big note is up in that forward division as well. Just in behind them then as they're about to swing round the home turn was Rare Game. Followed by winding up Arctic Spark wide from Man on Parade Important. Obdu dropping out to second last and Aura Grant last of all. Big note is taken over as they're about to swing for home but kicking back Star Behold on the inside. Man on Parade getting right up along the inside as they drift wide from Arctic Spark. In the straight many chances. Man on Parade right up along the inside with Star Behold in the centre. Wider out coming at them now is important with a strong run and further back Arctic Spark. In the run home though it's Man on Parade being grabbed now by Important on the outside. Important Man on Parade. Man on Parade fights back. Important drawing clear though near the line and Important wins. Important by a length. Second Man on Parade maybe just in front of a, a wider out came Arctic Spark. In behind them then was Big Noda. Further back then came Rare Game. In behind them then to pull up was Star Behold. Then Aura Grant who made some ground. Followed by well back in the field was Obdu who was one of the last over the line. Still a couple to move in. They are Star, Sheen and a later affair. In fact, Melissa Slaven out of the saddle on a later affair. Over there behind the start and it will be led up riderless. El Quillo is in with Inquesta. Now later the fair moves up riderless. Later the fair is in, Star Sheen joining the line. Now they're set for a start, race number four. 1100 the journey. All set. Ready to go. A couple of them a bit fractious there towards the centre of the field. Light on now. Set to go and racing this time. Bit slow to go in quest of winning the start out wide was a later affair. It'll lead clearly settling down from B scene up to second. El Quillo followed by Star Sheen on the outside. And two away last of all is in quest of settling fully down into stride and a later affair the leader. Up on the outside Star Sheen now. Followed by in third placing was B scene. A length away the inside El Quillo. And two away last of all is in quest of down the side they come. Star Sheen a neck in front on the outside of a later affair the rails then a length and a half away came B scene running on well three away then El Quillo and five away last of all is Inquesta they're about to swing the home turn and Star Sheen the leader whipping right around the outside B scene running on well then came a later affair followed by El Quillo switched wide and back at the rear is Inquesta in the straight on the inside there it's Star Sheen in front B scene trying hard in the centre of the track followed by a later affair from El Quillo it's over over against the inside, Star Sheen being grabbed now by B Sheen in the centre. B Sheen's gone to the lead from Star Sheen, and B Sheen draws away to win well. B Sheen by four lengths. Second placing went to Star Sheen. Two away, third was El Quillo. In behind them, elated affair, and last in was in Cuesta. Landovin in, Bayonetta links up. Now they're set for a start at the top of the straight, 2,200 metres, the Black Douglas Class D, they're all set. Light on their racing this time. Reasonably even dispatched with down near the inside Quarry Magic showing some pace along with Royal Discount. Grey Steiger out in the centre of the track and wider out Kalandavin. As they settle down into stride and come down past us the first time, Quarry Magic the leader. Grey Steiger second, wider out Kalandavin. Royal Discount drops in on the rails, followed by Trap the Little Wide there was Sapphire Coast. Back in the centre, Drydell, and back at the rear, Bayonetta. Past the judge and swinging out of the straight towards the 1700 metre mark now and the leader Kalandavin now wide on the track goes up to join Quarry Magic. Just in behind them Grey Steiger. Back on the rails came Royal Discount followed by a length away on the outside was Sapphire Coast. They're followed by Bayonetta and half away last of all Drydell. Into the back they stride 1500 metres from home. Quarry Magic narrowly in front of Kalandavin again joining it on the outside. They're a length in front of the Grey, Grey Steiger third. Royal Discount over on the inside then of 
12 over on the outside, Sapphire Coast, a length and a half away, Bayonetta, and Drydell back at the rear, 1,200 metres to go along the back, Quarry Magic a neck in front of Kalandavin on the outside, second, length and a half away, third came Grey Steiger, the outside of Royal Discount, then a length and a half away, Sapphire Coast, the outside of Bayonetta, and two away last of all is Drydell, along the side they come, 700 metres out, this pair in front, it's Quarry Magic the inside, Kalandavin joining it again, length and a half to the grey, grey Steiger third, then Royal Discount the inside, followed by Sapphire Coast, Bayonetta and Drydell back at the rear, along the side 500 metres from home, Kalandavin's drawn three quarters in front now of Quarry Magic on the inside second, then came Grey Steiger about to be called a fun, followed by Royal Discount, at the head of the rest Sapphire Coast from Bayonetta, and last of all is Drydell, they're about to round the home turn, and Jay Caitlin's gone for home on Kalandavin, it'll straighten up three or four in front, running on Royal Discount from Grey Steiger and further back, Quarry Magic on the rails in the straight, Kalandavin in front Quarry Magic wider out, Royal Discount running on, followed by Sapphire Coast, Kalandavin getting a little tired, it's drifting towards the centre of the track coming out at Royal Discount, but it won't get it, it's well clear, Kalandavin still hanging on from Royal Discount and Kalandavin, Kalandavin hard written near the line, Kalandavin wins by about four lengths, Royal Discount second, third placing Sapphire Coast, followed by Grey Steiger, Quarry Magic in behind them, Bayonetta, and the last one in was Drydell. Well, Legend moving up, and Michelle's Flame will complete the line. And now they're set for a start at the 1400 metre mark. Race number six on the program here at Seymour. Field settles, light on, ready, racing this time. Reasonably even dispatch. Michelle's Flame War Legend dropped out to last of all. Segovian Affair, but taking it on early is Radio Chatter. And Radio Chatter goes to the lead. Fiery Guy's up there handy as well. And on the outside, Michelle's Flame now hunting forward. A well bunch field. Michelle's Flame now leads. Radio Chatter second. Palak is third. War Legend around the outside is now up running fourth from Lady de Regaria. Over on the inside then came Fiery Guy. About three away then in second last placing was Chick's Cabin and uh, back at the rear of the field is Segovian Affair. Along the side they come, 700 metres from home. Michelle's Flame takes over and strides clear by a length and a half. Radio Chatter second. Over on the outside in third placing there uh, would have been Palak. Wider out came War Legend in a well bunch field. Fiery Guy. Lady de Gregaria over on the outside then came Segovian Affair and Chick's Cabin back at the rear. The charge on as they're about to round the home turn and Michelle's Flame will straighten up a length or so in front of War Legend and Radio Chatter joining in wider out. Lady de Regaria and further back in the field getting up along the inside came Fiery Guy. Lady de Regaria on the outside and uh, fighting back wider out came Segovian Affair in a great go. Fiery Guy the rails. It's Segovian Affair now taking over and racing away. Lady de Regaria and in third place and came Fiery Guy up along the inside with Michelle's Flame but Segovian Affair will score. Segovian Affair. Lady de Regaria second, third place uh, would have gone to War Legend. In behind them, Chick's Cabin, who made up ground from Michelle's Flame. Then uh, back behind them came Palak, Fiery Guy knocked up. In behind them, Radio Chatter, who was one of the last over the line. Stand by for the placings on race number six. Along with Little Sport. Little sport in, Tamelsa will be the last one along. And they'll be set for a start. Tamelsa's joined the line, they're all ready for the last. Set, light on racing this time. Reasonably even dispatch, Ben's Love's dropped out to last of all shortly after the start. Little Sport showing pace, leads three quarters settling down. From Mighty Murray over on the inside, half a length away to Melsa and three away last of all is Ben's Love. Along the side of the track they come towards the 600 metre mark and Little Sport two lengths in front of Mighty Murray second. Over on the outside a half length away then came to Melsa and three away last of all is Ben's Love. Down to the 400 metre mark, they're about to 
wheel into the home straight and Little Sport by a length and a half in front. Tamelsa running on strongly now, wide on the track, followed by Mighty Murray and Ben's Love as they swing the home turn and into the straight. Little Sport might be still just in front. Mighty Murray getting up along the inside and Tamelsa right out past the centre of the track, running on strongly. They're wide apart. Mighty Murray, Little Sport and Tamelsa on the extreme outside. Tamelsa's in front. It's drawing clear from Mighty Murray along the inside and Little Sport and Tamelsa will win the last nicely. Tamelsa scores by about four lengths on the line. Second placing Mighty Murray. A photo for third between Ben's Love who made up ground when it was all over and Little Sport back near the inside.